This is Understand the Times, a radio program dedicated to equipping the church with biblical insights for contemporary issues. As an author and lecturer, Roger Oakland speaks internationally on a wide variety of topics. Roger helps us understand and analyze past events, today's headlines, and even things yet to take place. Now, to help us understand the Times, here's Roger. Welcome to Understand the Times. I'm Roger Oakland. The date was Christmas Eve, 1575. The location was St. Peter's Basilica in the city of Rome. Pope Gregory XIII stood in front of the holy door that had been blocked off since it had been declared closed at the end of the Catholic Jubilee 50 years earlier. Pope took the silver hammer pick and smashed it against the enclosure. The handle broke, cutting his fingers, but he hammered with determination until a hole appeared through the wall. Officials, who stood on either side of the door, continued the onslaught with mallets. The screen that filled the opening crashed to the floor. Desmond O'Grady further described what happened on this occasion in his book, Rome Reshaped, Jubilees 1300 to 2000. He wrote, Pandemonium ensued. The front ranks of the crowd and the workmen who had previously loosened the mortar of the screen and even guards threw themselves on the rubble. It was not only because the bricks had a pontifical imprint, but because gold and silver coins and medals minted for the previous jubilee were always enclosed as if it were a Christmas pudding. End of quote. While one would not suspect that such a barbaric behavior would ever occur at such an important event sanctioned by the Pope, it was only the sign of further chaos that was yet to come. O'Grady continued by describing more details of the event. Quote, the papal master of ceremonies who recorded the episode in his diary shouted at the souvenir seekers to desist, but his voice could not be heard above the din. Pope Gregory was to enter St. Peter's first, promising a new reign of peace and justice, but some of the crowd, estimated at 300,000, rushed in ahead of him. This prevented clerics sweeping the threshold and washing the lintels with holy water. The Pope said some of the prescribed prayers, but in the uproar, not even the choir's responses could be heard. At the end of the Vespers, the Pope learned that in the crazed scrimmage at the door, six people had been killed. End of quote. Some may wonder why so many people would be lined up to get through a door. What was the significance of this event? Certainly there must be more to the story. In order to understand the significance, it is important to review a papal bull authorized by Pope Clemens 275 years earlier. A special indulgence that had been authorized for all those who entered through the holy door during Catholic Jubilee. Apparently, a rumor had spread among the faithful that getting through the door first added certain blessing. During Jubilee year 2000, millions made their way to Rome and through the holy door. Apparently, church officials have learned a lesson and now have a better plan for crowd control since the great stampede for salvation that took place in 1575. I'm Roger Oakland. This has been a biblical perspective to help understand the times. Please visit www.understandthetimes.org for more information, to order materials, or to contact the ministry. Sign up for our free newsletter, news alerts, and commentaries. You can also contact us by telephone toll-free at 1-800-689-1888. That's 1-800-689-1888. Did you know that Understand the Times as an international ministry has programs that assist widows and orphans around the world with over 40 homes established to care for the poor in Myanmar, Kenya, South Africa, and the Philippines? Understand the Times' desire is to serve those in need and to give them the gospel of Jesus Christ. To find out how you can get involved as a supporting partner for any of these countries, please visit our website at understandthetimes.org. That's understandthetimes.org. Simply click on the UTT Missions tab to find additional information. Partner with us as we desire to reach the nations with the gospel of Jesus.